Hello everybody, welcome to News on Screenshots. My name is Mazi Ezike, aka Bagwes, and today we are here to talk about the billionaire who flies economy class. We are here to listen to what P2B has to say. P2B, the owner of the next cash and carry supermarket that just got bought. Next cash and carry is one of obese big businesses. Next cash and carry is one of the Nigeria's indigenous biggest shopping mall established in 2013 by P2B. Now the former governor of, of Anambara State and the PDP vice presidential candidate for 2019 election. Let's listen to his statement on insecurity versus business and economy in Nigeria. As against what Femi Adesina said about insecurity attracting more investors in Nigeria. I mean, I don't even know how that I mean, would be Now, that. Femi Adesina that, used, that said this rubbish with his mouth is a special advisor on media and publicity to the president. It looks like we need advisor, not no one supposed to change government or anything. No. What we need now, advisor. Because how can a man who owns a bank controls many international franchises? in Nigeria and a man who, who share what billions of naira in blue chips company telling you that in that business cannot thrive in a place where there is insecurity and yet you come as a media advisor a special media advisor you will like saying our media will change will change our advisor because they know they are advice the advisor know now him be the problem yes watch this video now watch this video and listen to Mr Pito B yes listen to him because he's a man who has seen business and ventured into business and I was he's a successful businessman and yet a person who is not even who has not even sold granite before is, is advising the president that that business can thrive in a place where there is insecurity Nala watch this video and as you watch this video kindly hit on the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next video Despite the challenging situation in Nigeria, insecurity and all, uh, President Mohamed Buhari has been globetrotting, you know, trying to attract investment at this point. And he insists that despite insecurity, it is a good time for, you know, Nigeria, for people, for investors to come into Nigeria. What do you make of that? Well, Ibam, um, maybe I don't know what, what, what the advice, because I'm sure it's advice. The president doesn't do anything on his own, his advice, but I think if I was his advisor, I would take the opposite situation. You know, President Buhari has one year to leave office. If there's anything he needs to do for Nigeria now, is to actually turn Nigeria, the various parts of Nigeria, be able to bring the country together. Today our cohesion is at its worst. We are so divided. We hate each other. This is what they should be doing now. We are very insecure. Look at the, the open paper every day this morning that eight killed in Kaduna. Let me ask you, my sister, will you go to Afghanistan to invest today? That is a powerful question. You don't need to. Nobody tells you. Nobody. Let me tell you why people, countries have embassies in, everywhere in the world. They, United States Embassy in Nigeria is the only credible entity an investor in the U.S. will listen to to come to Nigeria. Not Peter B or anybody going there and preaching. The, the reason why we set up country state embassies in a country is to study the situation of that country. So the British High Commission gives the British people, including their businesses, I've been part of it because I live in the Britain, they give them the feedback whether to come or not. And I can tell you, if you go and read their report, you are not second or third most terrorized country in the world. You are not, in terms of drug prevalence, you are not number one. So nobody is going to go to a war. The person has to be alive to enjoy the, the return on his investment. So nobody is going to go with you and everything. Intel is just investing. 7 billion in Malaysia. I haven't heard the president of Malaysia going anywhere to talk about that. It's in Malaysia. The investors money go is like a bee. If you put honey here, the bees will come. How they will penetrate through this door, you won't even know. 
you need to put things in order. If we need to sit down and do our work here and do the proper things. The things we can do to stimulate the economy. For example, we just sold 500, um, 5G auction and we have made $550 million. Let that money be properly invested today in creating maybe a tech, innovation, or, you know, STEM, supporting STEM courses that will help to grow the country in the future. We have a pool of young, energetic, talented young men. Today, India, all Asian countries, are sourcing is becoming expensive. So they are looking for where to go. Let's put that money into what can help us. If we do it properly, we could be creating Facebook and companies like that in the future. Today, our entire stock market is valued at $45 billion. Facebook valuation is $900 billion. So we're not even 5% of Facebook alone. And we have so many people who can create such companies there. But by the time you know it now, they tell they use the money to pay judgment debt. What type of thing is, this is what I'm saying. Let us do the proper things other people are doing. Okay. It's very easy.